Gerard Winstanley, the 19th of October 1609 to the 10th of September 1676, was an English Protestant religious reformer, political philosopher, and activist during the Protectorate of Oliver Cromwell. Winstanley was the leader and one of the founders of the English group known as the True Levellers or Diggers for their beliefs and for their actions. The group occupied public lands that had been privatized by enclosures and dug them over, pulling down hedges and filling in ditches to plant crops. True levelers was the name they used to describe themselves, whereas the term diggers was coined by contemporaries. Biography Gerard Winstanley was born on 19 October 1609 and was baptized in the parish of Wigan, then part of the West Derby Hundred of Lancashire. He was the son of an Edward Winstanley, Mercer. His mother's identity remains unknown and he could have been born anywhere in the parish of Wigan. The parish of Wigan contained the townships of Abram, Aspull, Billing and Winstanley, Dalton, Hay, Hindley, Ince in Makerfield, Orell, Pemberton, and Upholland, as well as Wigan itself. He moved in 1630 to London, where he became an apprentice and ultimately, in 1638, a freeman of the Merchant Tailors Company or Guild. He married Susan King, the daughter of London surgeon William King, in 1639. The English Civil War, however, disrupted his business, and in 1643 he was made bankrupt. His father-in-law helped Winstanley move to Cobham, Surrey, where he initially worked as a cowherd. Later life In 1657 Winstanley and his wife Susan received a gift of property in Ham Manor in Cobham, from his father-in-law William King. This marked Winstanley's renovation in social status locally and he became waywarden of the parish in 1659, overseer of the poor in 1660 and churchwarden in 1667-68. He was elected chief constable of Elmbridge, Surrey in October 1671. These offices on the face of it conflicted with Winstanley's apparent Quakerism, a religion which later became more quietist. When Susan died about 1664 Winstanley was paid £50 for the land in Cobham by King. Winstanley returned to London trade, whilst retaining his connections in Surrey. In about 1665 he married his second wife Elizabeth Stanley and re-entered commerce as a corn chandler. Winstanley died in 1676, aged 66, vexed by legal disputes concerning a small legacy owed to him in a will. English civil wars There were many factions at work during the period of the three related English civil wars. They included the Royalists who supported King Charles I, the parliamentary forces led by Sir Thomas Fairfax who would later emerge under the name of the New Model Army, the Fifth Monarchy Men, who believed in the establishment of a heavenly theocracy on earth to be led by a returning Jesus as King of Kings and Lord of Lords, the agitators for political egalitarian reform of government, who were branded «levelers» by their foes and who were led by John Lilburn, and the true levelers, who were branded «diggers» because of their actions. The latter were led by Gerard Winstanley. Whereas Lilburn sought to level the laws and maintain the right to the ownership of real property, Winstanley sought to level the ownership of real property itself, which is why Winstanley's followers called themselves true levelers. Topic: The New Law of Righteousness. Gerard Winstanley published a pamphlet called The New Law of Righteousness. The basis of this work came from the Book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 44 and 45, all who believed were together and had all things in common, they would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all, as any had need. Winstanley argued that, in the beginning of time God made the earth. Not one word was spoken at the beginning that one branch of mankind should rule over another, but selfish imaginations did set up one man to teach and rule over another. Winstanley took as his basic texts the biblical sacred history, with its affirmation that all men were descended from a common stock, and with its skepticism about the rulership of kings, voiced in the books of Samuel, and the New Testament's affirmations that God was no respecter of persons, that there were no masters or slaves under the New Covenant. From these and similar texts, he interpreted Christian teaching as calling for the abolition of property in land and aristocracy. Winstanley wrote, 
Seeing the common people of England by joint consent of person and purse have cast out Charles our Norman oppressor, we have by this victory recovered ourselves from under his Norman yoke. His theme was rooted in ancient English radical thought. It went back at least to the days of the Peasants' Revolt 1381 led by Watt Tyler, because that is when a verse of the Lollard priest John Ball was circulated. When Adam delved and Eve span. Who was then the gentleman? Topic. The Diggers On 1 April 1649, Winstanley and his followers took over vacant or common lands on St. George's Hill in Surrey. Other digger colonies followed in Buckinghamshire, Kent, and Northamptonshire. Their action was to cultivate the land and distribute food without charge to any who would join them in the work. Local landowners took fright from the diggers' activities and in 1650 sent hired armed men to beat the diggers and destroy their colony. Winstanley protested to the government, but to no avail, and eventually the colony was abandoned. After the failure of the digger experiment in Surrey in 1650 Winstanley temporarily fled to Purton, Hertfordshire, where he took up employment as an estate steward for the mystic aristocrat Lady Eleanor Davies. This employment lasted less than a year after Davies accused Winstanley of mismanaging her property and Winstanley returned to Cobham. Winstanley continued to advocate the redistribution of land. In 1652 he published another pamphlet called The Law of Freedom in a Platform, in which he argued that the Christian basis for society is where property and wages are abolished. In keeping with Winstanley's adherence to biblical models, the tract envisages a communistic society structured on patriarchal lines. Quakers By 1654 Winstanley was possibly assisting Edward Burrow, an early leader of the Quakers, later called the Society of Friends. It seems that Winstanley remained a Quaker for the rest of his life, since his death was noted in Quaker records. However, his Quakerism may not have been very strong as he was involved in the government of his local parish church from 1659 onwards, though it should be noted that it is not unknown for committed Quakers to retain strong ties to other religious traditions, even including priesthood. He may have been buried in a Quaker cemetery. Winstanley believed in Christian universalism, the doctrine that everyone, however sinful, will eventually be reconciled to God. He wrote that. In the end every man shall be saved, though some at the last hour." His book The Mystery of God is apparently the first theological work in the English language to state this universalism. <laughs> Legacy The Soviet-era Alexander Garden Obelisk in Moscow, Russia, in 1918 included his name among a list of outstanding thinkers and personalities of the struggle for the liberation of workers. In 1999, the British activist group The Land Is Ours celebrated the Digger Movement's 350th anniversary with a march and reoccupation of St. George's Hill, the site of the first Digger colony. Like the original colony, this settlement was quickly disbanded. Since 2011 a Wigan Diggers Festival has been held annually in Winstanley's birth town of Wigan attracting support across the north of England. Topic. Collected works The Complete Works of Gerard Winstanley, edited jointly by Thomas N. Corns, Anne Hughes and David Lawenstein, were published by the Oxford University Press in December 2009 at £229 ISBN 978-0-19-957606-7. A shorter and less comprehensive volume containing all the major works, Gerard Winstanley, A Common Treasury edited by Andrew Hopton, was published in 1989 by Aporia ISBN 978-0-948518-45-4 and reprinted several times since, most recently in 2011 paperback by Verso Books UK, with an introduction by Tony Benn ISBN 978-1-84467-595-1. Topic. Related works 1975 saw the release of Kevin Brownlow and Andrew Mallow's film Winstanley. As with the duo's previous film, It Happened Here, it had taken several years to produce with a very low budget. Winstanley was loosely based on a novel by David Cott entitled, Comrade Jacob, 
and was produced in a quasi-documentary style, with great attention to period detail, even to the point of only using breeds of animals which were known to exist at the time, and actual Civil War armour and weapons borrowed from the Tower of London Museum. In 2009 UKA Press released Winstanley, Warts and All ISBN 978-1-905796-22-9, the story of the making of the film, Winstanley, written by film director and film historian Kevin Brownlow. The song, The World Turned Upside Down, by English folk singer Leon Rosselson, weaves many of Winstanley's own words into the lyrics. An older song, The Digger's Song, said to be written by Winstanley was recorded by the English group Chumbawamba on their English rebel songs 1381-1914 in 1988. Quotations <inaudible> 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 From a declaration from the poor oppressed people of England. The power of enclosing land and owning property was brought into the creation by your ancestors by the sword, which first did murder their fellow creatures, men, and after plunder or steal away their land, and left this land successively to you, their children. And therefore, though you did not kill or thieve, yet you hold that cursed thing in your hand by the power of the sword, and so you justify the wicked deeds of your fathers, and that sin of your fathers shall be visited upon the head of you and your children to the third and fourth generation, and longer too, till your bloody and thieving power be rooted out of the land. From a watch word to the City of London, an army. Alas, you poor blind earth moles, you strive to take away my livelihood and the liberty of this poor weak frame my body of flesh, which is my house I dwell in for a time, but I strive to cast down your kingdom of darkness, and to open hell gates, and to break the devil's bonds asunder wherewith you are tied, and that you my enemies may live in peace, and that is all the harm I would have you to have. From a New Year's gift for the Parliament and Army, the life of this dark kingly power, which you have made an act of parliament and oath to cast out, if you search it to the bottom, you shall see it lies within the iron chest of cursed covetousness, who gives the earth to some part of mankind and denies it to another part of mankind, and that part that hath the earth, hath no right from the law of creation to take it to himself and shut out others, but he took it away violently by theft and murder in conquest. From the law of freedom in a platform. If they prove desperate, wanton or idle, and will not quietly submit to the law, the taskmaster is to feed them with short diet, and to whip them, for a rod is prepared for the fool's back, till such time as their proud hearts do bend to the law. If any have so highly broke the laws as they come within the compass of whipping, imprisoning and death, the executioner shall cut off the head, hang or shoot to death, or whip the offender according to the sentence of law. Thus you may see what the work of every officer in a town or city is. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Protestant Reformation. Winstanley and German Protestant revolutionary Thomas Munzer both supported anarchism. Libertarian socialist scholar Murray Bookchin, in the modern world, anarchism first appeared as a movement of the peasantry and yeomanry against declining feudal institutions. In Germany its foremost spokesman during the Peasant Wars was Thomas Munzer, in England, Gerard Winstanley, a leading participant in the Digger movement. The concepts held by Munzer and Winstanley were superbly attuned to the needs of their time, a historical period when the majority of the population lived in the countryside and when the most militant revolutionary forces came from an agrarian world. It would be painfully academic to argue whether Munzer and Winstanley could have achieved their ideals. What is of real importance is that they spoke to their time, their anarchist concepts followed naturally from the rural society that furnished the bands of the peasant armies in Germany and the new model in England. See also References Topic. Further reading Tony Benn Introduction, Gerard Winstanley 2011. A Common Treasury. Verso. ISBN 978-1-84467-595-1 External links 
Gerard Winstanley, 17th century communist at Kingston A lecture by Christopher Hill at Kingston University the 24th of January 1996. The Religion of Gerard Winstanley and Digger Communism by Donald R. Sutherland A Declaration from the Poor Oppressed People of England Winstanley and 44 others 1649 back up the True Levelers Standard advanced by Winstanley and 14 others April 1649 back up the Law of Freedom in a Platform by Gerard Winstanley The Wigan Diggers Festival website <laughs>